I am a really, really insecure. And when I was younger, I was very self-conscious about the way that I looked, which is the obvious form of insecurity. Um, I started wearing makeup around middle school and up until last year, I was at a point where I couldn't leave the house without at least concealer because I was so worried about what other people thought of my under eye darkness, which is ridiculous. But since then, I've really worked hard and I'm now at a place where I love the way that I look. Um, I love my facial features. I'm so grateful for them. I'm also super grateful for my body and because of this progress, I've been living in this illusion that I am past insecurity like I don't have to that is just insecurity is just something that I don't have to deal with anymore that I have just beaten that you know and because of this type of thinking I've been neglecting aspects of insecurities that have been manifesting in my life and making me feel bad and because I've been ignoring them I have no idea where these bad feelings are coming from and I just figured it out and I thought I should acknowledge it and talk about it what has happened is that these insecurities are now less appearance-based and they've morphed into being characteristic-based. <laughs> um, basically, I care a lot about what kind of a person other people think that I am. I care a lot about what kind of characteristics they would assign to me. Um, for example, I want people to think that I'm creative. I want people to think that I'm smart and intelligent. I want them to think I'm genuine, that I'm kind. And it's just a list of these things that I know that I am deep down because I try to be those things. So to some extent, I am those things, but I'm obsessed with wanting other people to also know that I am that. And this is a problem because <laughs> it is, manifesting in the way that I live and the decisions I make and the actions I take and how I react to situations and it needs to be talked about. For example, um, recently I've been sharing updates on the books that I'm reading on Facebook because I've just been reading a lot recently so every time I finish a book I'll post an update about what I thought of it and things like that and it was fine at first and I loved doing it but I soon started questioning myself and I was like am I sharing this because I want to inspire other people to read and I want people to learn about different types of books that are out there the different types of books that are out there or am I doing it because I want people to think that I'm someone who reads a lot and I was so worried, I'm like so worried that, I mean like I knew it was the second thing, like I just wanted people to think that I was smart, that I read, that I was, I, I just wanted people to know that I was well read and that's just ridiculous thinking about it now but when, it's, when you're doing it you don't notice and I think this is coming from, I've been really worried about how smart I am recently because, okay so some background on in my relationship to intelligence um i was always really good in school and i equated grades with intelligence and i was always in like in middle school i was in the extended french program which was a more acad like it was a harder program than the regular stream and then in high school i was also in a special program the ib program and <laughs> that also made me feel superior like both of these things like throughout my life i've had things that that have reinforced my smartness to myself but now that i'm in university it's not there anymore and i've been i guess i've just been struggling with it for those of you that don't know i study computer science at university i just finished my third year and but now i'm at this point where i have i'm less interested in tech right now and more interested in the creative things like I'm more interested in visual like visual art I'm more interested in lifestyle and different philosophies the interests that I'm involved in right now I'm finding hard to intersect with my computer science interests like I feel like it's either one or the other there's no intersection and right now because I'm focusing on the creative side I'm worried that I'm not going to be smart anymore because I'm not engaging with 
that smart side of myself and I don't know it's it's still like muddled in my head I'm not really sure why but I think that's where this intelligence and security stems from anyway um, it's also coming across in, in my YouTube videos so if you've noticed I haven't posted a video in months and the thing is I have multiple videos filmed that just haven't been edited because I've been worried that they don't perfectly align with what I want you guys to think of me <laughs> like they're not like the backgrounds aren't nice enough like the background of my videos they don't reflect my personality the way that I want it to and I didn't talk articulately enough and all this stuff and I've just been like using that as an excuse to not do things and that's the problem and that's why I'm making this video because I feel that now that I've talked about it everyone knows and it's out there and now I don't have to worry about it anymore <laughs> yeah so thanks for watching um I have a few videos coming up because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna force myself to post them because whatever it's fine like I am who I am and that's what I should be embracing and I should aim towards being what I want to be but I shouldn't force it I should just let myself naturally progress to that place and yeah <laughs> that's the message of this video thank you for watching love you Mwah.